Let the assassinations commence. On these godforsaken bladder snails, man. Seriously, you can't win with bladder snails. Look at all the eggs, man. I'm like, okay, my camera... Seriously, I need to get like a better camera or something, but you can see them either they're, they're out of focus. Okay. Okay, now they're kind of in focus, but yeah. There's a ton of them. And actually, I've been purposely letting them breed in here. Because this is a little off of my plans that I had, but I'm going to try breeding assassin snails. I have a bunch of them from various tanks and uh they're getting acclimated, they're, you know, doing their thing, and, you know, the fun thing about assassin snails is they're actually not a snail. Uh, from what I understand, they're actually a type of mollusk, but because they're more or less just like snails, you know, they call them assassin snails. Clea Helena, I believe, is the Latin name that's given to them. Something like that, man. I, I don't know why we use a dead language for this sort of thing, but... Uh, so they are in the tank. I'm going to scoop out more and put them in here, but I'm purposely feeding this tank to create as many of these big, juicy, succulent bladder snails for these assassin snails. Because many years ago, I had a one-gallon tank. Now, that was my first tank I ever had. It was a silly little one-gallon tank, besides a fishbowl back way when. And... You know, I had a bunch of these bladder snails, and I put in a few assassin snails in there, and the assassin snails bred like mad. They have really cool little eggs that uh, are just like one-by-one one eggs, you know. They're not in a cluster like the bladder snails' eggs. And I've noticed over the years that assassin snails actually have a preference on what snails they prefer to eat. Now, they were originally in the 40-gallon tank. Which, as you can see, has a bunch of Malaysian trumpet snails. Now, I have been uh, trying for uh, the better part of a year with assassin snails to get rid of the, or at least control of the Malaysian trumpet snail population. You know, there's uh, an assassin over there. Actually, two of them. Well, the point is, yes, they do eat them, but not nearly at the rate that they would eat bladder snails. And on top of that, they've never bred in this tank. Now, I thought maybe they weren't breeding because Peaches, my bushy nose Pleco, the silly goof, I thought he was eating me, uh, the, the eggs that they were laying because that's kind of what Plecos do. But, I, you know, I put Peaches in the tank down here, my reserve 10 gallon, for a good month or so, which should have been enough time to let, you know, the pairs of uh, assassin snails mate and breed, but, you know, nothing happened. And then what I decided, okay, maybe I'll do the reverse, right? I will put Peaches back up here, because let's face it, Peaches needs a bigger tank. I didn't feel comfortable with him down there. I felt bad about it. Put him back. He's doing good with his driftwood. But I put the assassin snails down here, and I fed them some food, and I thought, well, you know, they don't strictly eat other snails. That is their primary diet, but they will eat other stuff. And this is a little dirty right now. I've been There's a little detritus floating around because I just stirred up the uh, sand bed here. It'll go back down and be clear in just a minute. Uh, but anywho, they didn't breed down there either, so I thought, you know what? This tank right here, which is full of bladder snails, I remember them doing really well eating them, and I remember them breeding in here. So I'm trying to mimic those conditions. And actually, we got some assassins on the run. So, yeah, they're alive, they do their thing. Uh, assassin snails, essentially, they eat a snail and then they hibernate for like a day or two, sometimes up to three days, and then they get back up on it and then keep assassinating by eating them alive. Uh, the bladder snails, that is. And I've actually got a video of them uh, eating one alive. It's actually very interesting. This little organ that you see right here, that big trunk, like an elephant trunk, that bores into the shell of a bladder snail. Even if they rec recede into their shell, it'll eat their foot and then go directly into the shell and just continue to eat. And you can see the mouth eating on the inside of the shell. You can see through the shell because it's actually more transparent than it looks. 
and they'll eat and just nyum, 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 nyum. these guys are freaking metal so <laughs> hardcore snails and uh, it's really very interesting to see uh, now that being said assassin snail reproduction does take a while however since for whatever reason I can't grow shrimp in here I want to grow something so I guess it'll go back to snails now to be fair I can sell bladder snails all day every day I can sell Malaysian trumpet snails all day every day I just don't like it because the amounts you have to sell to get any reasonable amount of money usually I sell a hundred plus ten for ten dollars uh, for either of these snails and that's fine and all but oh my goodness the amount of work you have to do to scoop them out organize them sort them put them in the bag properly then buy, box them up ship them oh it's not worth the ten dollars but assassin snails are worth a little bit more so maybe I can breed assassin snails for a while and then sell assassin snails to other people who have problems with Malaysian drummer snails or bladder snails and get the money to start getting back to my other projects because I do fully intend on turning the 55 into a freshwater river prawn tank now the 55 needs a little TLC I need to remove a bunch of those floaters and get rid of the spiders I know I haven't gotten rid of the spiders yet I know I should have gotten to that yeah but uh, you know I've been taking care of some other stuff around the house that needed to be done everything's fine it's not like the system in there is crashed the 55 is probably the most stable system out of all of these but it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, you know, and still waiting for, you know, the yellow shrimps to get to adult age before they breed. They're, they're scuttling around doing their thing, and then we got the spunky crayfish over here on the side, as usual. You guys know all this. I'm not going to bore you with that, because today it's really all about the assassin snails, and I thought I would just give you a quick update on what's going on down here. So, wish me luck. Hopefully we get some assassin snail eggs, and when I do... I'll definitely give a video of what assassin snail eggs look like because they're really neat and uh, you know I figured maybe that might be helpful to someone anywho that's pretty much it guys that's the plan that's what's going on and yes you do need a male and a female assassin snail so uh, if you're thinking about doing this yourself I don't know how to tell the difference between the sexes but I do know there are two of them so yeah thanks for watching guys